Have you ever thought about starting your own podcast? When we were trying to get this podcast off the ground, we had so many questions. How do we record an episode? Where do we find background music? How do we get our show on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and all the other places that people like to listen? And where do we find advertisers? The answer to every one of these questions is really simple. Anchor. Anchor is a one-stop shop for recording, hosting, distributing, and monetizing your podcast. And best of all, it's 100% free and 100% ridiculously easy to use. Anchor makes it simple to get up and running. You can upload and schedule your podcast ahead of time. It publishes to all the major podcast platforms. You can easily check your stats. I could go on and on, but instead, why don't you go and get started? Go to anchor.fm slash start to join the e-commerce minute and a diverse community of podcasters already using Anchor. That's anchor.fm slash start. We can't wait to hear your podcast. It's the e-commerce minute, your daily dose of e-commerce tech and retail news with your hosts, Bart Moraz and John Suter. The e-commerce minute is a production of Sumo Heavy, a digital commerce consulting firm in Brooklyn, New York and Philadelphia. Find us on the web at sumoheavy.com. It's e-commerce minute episode 271. In today's episode, Target secret super fan app. Target has a secret app called Studio Connect that allows users to connect with Target designers. The app is available by invitation only and is limited to about 600 users. The invitations are chosen from respondents to online research and satisfaction surveys generated at the checkouts. The app, similar to design in Instagram, is used by Target by their design teams to get feedback from potential users of the merchandise they're designing. For example, the app has already helped Target design its new private label line of housewares called Made by Design. According to Fast Company, Target launched Studio Connect for a simple reason. Products are being developed faster than ever, but conventional consumer insight research methods like running official polls or coordinating in-person focus groups take several weeks at best. The participants in the app are incentivized with points that they can eventually use towards discounts or gift cards. But Fast Company reports that the app users are just happy to be part of the design feedback loop. Studio Connect enables our designers to interact with guests at any point while developing products, encouraging conversations, and adding a level of flexibility to the formal feedback process, Julia Gugamos, Target Senior VP, Product Design and Development, told Fast Company. Using an app like Studio Connect can help companies design products faster and with greater customer feedback rather than when the product hits the shelf. This is pretty cool. Yeah, that's kind of weird, though. Why is it weird? I don't know. It's it's a secret sh- thing for Target. <laughs> well, it's not really for Target. It's for Target's designers. It, so th- this there's a couple reasons why this works. People who love Target love Target. And Target is appealing to that millennial, late millennial, design conscious, but also budget conscious consumer. And some people are just really, like me, I, they're just really into design. And if they have an ability to 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 participate in the design process, you know, that's something that's pretty cool to a lot of people. Yeah, I guess, uh, I guess so. I guess special days when you can participate in and they actually do produce your shirt. That's kind of cool, I guess. Yeah. So there was one, what's the story? After a grade school girl submitted drawings for a clothing line, her mom got an update that it hit stores. And within an hour, the girl was probably posing for a photograph with her inspired garments. So that's kind of an obscure little thing. I'm sure they don't take little kids' drawings and stick them on shirts every day. And I'm sure the little girl didn't get, you know, the royalties in perpetuity for that design. Right. But that's kind of cool. I think that's a bragging rights there, right? Yeah, sure. But here's the thing. If they're designing... Okay, let's go with a housewares line. The designers in studio are going to say, here's mock-ups of, of, of these new housewares. We're going to put blue handles in all these. Out of the 600 people, 300 are going to say, what the heck are you doing putting blue handles on there? Why don't you make them gray? And the guy will go, oh, well, yeah, I guess we thought of that, but we thought we'd try blue. But now with, based on your feedback, you know, maybe we'll try that. It's a lot easier to get that kind of feedback. And also, these aren't 600 knuckleheads off the street. These are 600 people that have been screened via surveys. So it's people who are probably target super fans, people who are more have more of a design aesthetic, and more importantly, probably people that spend a lot of money at Target. Gotcha. Yeah, no, I guess that's fine. So, I mean, 600 consumers, that's only 0.002% of its 30 million <laughs> weekly shopper base. Um, <laughs> But what they do is they segment, they actually, they actually do segmentation. So you're not getting, you're not, maybe you're not seeing, the problem is you can't, we can't see this app. There's like a NDA, as company said, they couldn't show the app because privacy of, you know, the design process. But um, the, the base, the, they're segmented into groups such as children and those without. So you're probably not going to see the, the, the children's oriented products if you 
have stated that you don't have kids, which is pretty interesting. So you probably see more skewed towards housewares or, you know, if they're unveiling a new uh, sheet design or a curtain design. Yep. I actually kind of like Target's design. So this kind of really appeals to me. Like I said, not for everybody, but I think it's pretty neat. And again, whatever it costs them to develop this app is probably worth it because they can get products out to the stores and online a lot faster than someone who does not have this. Correct. Correct. Uh, the app is called Studio Connect. And if you want to try and get it, good luck. I don't know how you would go about get it, but we'll put the links to the Fast Company article on our website, ecommerceminute.co. Do you have anything else, Bart? That is it, sir. All right. That's your e-commerce minute for today. We'll see you on the internet tomorrow. That's it for today's show. If you like the show, do us a favor and subscribe or leave us a review on iTunes. And don't forget, you can now listen to the e-commerce minute on your Amazon device. Just add e-commerce minute to your flash briefing. And finally, if you have a comment or suggestion or just want to say hi, find us on social media at Sumo Heavy. <laughs>